good morning. I thought I'd just pop out this morning and have a look and uh, see if I can get some more bluebell images uh, following on from uh, last time's video. Um, but this time I'm back in my favourite wood, in, uh, well near Chedworth, it's Chedworth Wood. And uh, as you've just seen, I don't know if you can actually see around me. It looked like um, whoever's doing the forestry management has definitely been through this area. In fact, you can't see it. <laughs> um, but yeah, the pathway is all churned up. Um, through, well, because of whatever vehicles have been coming through here. Um, I think I'll be honest, it looks a bit of a mess. Um, I know in the long run it will uh, improve things, um, obviously allow for new growth and for more light and to come through to the, the woodland floor and help with whatever, whatever other plants are about. Um, but it's still upsetting to see. <laughs> uh, fortunately, it seems to be mostly the, the small pines and firs that have uh, been cut down. And my little jaunt so far, the little the trees that I normally photograph in this, this first bit of the wood haven't been touched. Um, but that's not to say that they're going to suffer from some damage at some point, um, which I hope is not the case. Um, in fact, I can, so walking along the path, they've clearly come straight through the woodland with the vehicles, um, which is normally kind of like almost a, a no-go area for uh, for the normal person. And uh, it goes quite close to some of the trees um, that I photographed, so I'm going to go and have a look and uh, see what's what. Well, here are the defenders. Obviously this tree in the background and the one just to the left and behind it, they're the defenders. And then the, uh, the tree to the right, although it seems to have two trunks of what they're defending, they seem to be okay, so they haven't touched that. That's promising. Okay, I haven't actually uh, called this tree anything, though I've taken a couple of images of it in the past. They seem to have managed to have swung by it, maybe have clipped at the edge, but again, generally that one's okay. Okay, right over in <laughs> the background there, you might just be able to make it out. Um, I think it's what I called the Kraken. Yeah, I called it the Kraken, and that one's fine. That one's on the top of a slope, so I don't think that's going to get... Oh, that's not going to be in any fear of being harmed, which is good. Well, my Dankson tree is okay. And over here, um, I don't think I've given this one a name, but it looks like somebody coming out of the ground. I don't know if I can zoom in any. There we go. He's okay. I'm assuming it's a he. Um, however, it seems to be covered in pine males or fur bales. So, unless that gets moved, I'm not gonna be able to do anything with that one for a while. Which is a shame. Looking the opposite or in the opposite direction from the dancing tree. Um, that tree there is the guardian. And the one next to it is the beast. <sighs> this. I know it's all being done for the right reasons, but this is heartbreaking. As I saw be said, I know the reasons why they're doing this, and in the long run it's good for the forest, but It kind of sucks.
generally but the, the shape and the idea is still there but I think there's some damage over here um, certainly <laughs> we've effectively got a road running right in front of the scene um, Guardian's okay just obviously more for bows covering it but then uh, just move over to roughly where I would uh, stand to take a picture of this place let's look at it oh. say on a positive note the uh, image I called last tree standing which is just like a lone I'm assuming it's a birch tree big tree um, that seems to be doing well it's just uh, <laughs> just go over and have a look there we go seems to be doing really well to be fair <laughs> which is uh, nice, a nice, nice bit of colour standing out amongst all the dark and, and devastation. It's certainly grown a little bit since I took a, an image of it, what, seven to eight months ago? It is just devastating. I know I've got a bit of grin on my face. Oh, I just, oh, I just actually done a bit to camera, which was supposed to be this bit. Then I took some photos, and then I thought I didn't press record. Oh dear, I think that's just the way today's going to go, isn't it? Right. Find my the king. Find the kingdom of my imagination has been absolutely. Yeah devastated by an invading foe or force and then I can't remember to uh, press the record button <laughs> before I realised that I, I hadn't pressed record I was uh, I was just a bit doom and gloom I still am doom and gloom I think a little bit um, but I'm starting to see the silver lining from this. As I've already said, I understand why they do this to woodlands. Um, and it's in, it's in the best interest of the woodlands for them to do that. So, so I, I have no issues with that. It's just sort of gutting to see, see the results and to see how it's going to look for, for some time to come before it starts to re-establish itself and some of this stuff. Well, breaks down, rots down and uh, feeds the for oops, oh, forest, <laughs> oh, upgrading the place, it feeds the woodland. Um, but yeah, silver, silver lining side, um, I can almost see these, or I can see the, the trees that are still here as uh, refugees, as survivors of uh, <laughs> the invasion. And uh, that's made me think of a, a slightly different take on my photography for this area um, just taking a picture of the the last tree standing um, and say it's a lot, well, a lot it's it's bigger than it was before it's it's nicely green it's as green as the trees behind me um, and it's nice to see that that hasn't been cut down um, obviously not part of the bigger plan uh, which is good for me it means I'm going to be able to come back and uh, follow this tree's progress as it grows um, and get it in different seasons. I've got it sort of at the end of autumn, beginning of winter, now spring, um, which is great. Um, I might go and take a picture of 
a tree over there that almost looks like it's a, somebody coming out of the ground. Um, with all the branches currently now, it looks like it's, it's coming out from <laughs> from amongst um, a load of rubble, um, woodland rubble, in this case. Uh, I'm stood next to the Guardian, and there's a, a big branch that's kind of fallen from a, another tree that they've taken down. It's kind of just leaning against it. Well, it's kind of propped in uh, between two of the trunks. Um, it's not actually touching the ground. Um, tempted to move it <laughs> but I don't see the point at the minute because this area does not make for a good image at all um, there's just too much mess around it so I think I'll let it just do its thing it can rot down if it rots down and breaks away at some point that'll be fine it'll just become part of the scenery um, the beast behind it seems relatively intact looking at where these tracks come through and up that way they've uh, caught the edge of it but and in fact I know what it's done it's knocked it on its side that's what it is yeah it's kind of either tilted 90 degrees or or one of the branches I'm gonna have to check another another image but it looks like part of it was up here is down this way um, I don't know whether that's because it's, it's turned because it's been knocked, um, or what? Um, midges. I wasn't expecting them today. Irritating as heck. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm gonna have to check some other photos, see what's going on, going on with that one. Um, but it's. I'm glad I've got some image of, images of it already. Um, I just have to wait and see on that one. So my dancing tree's fine. My defenders are fine. Um, unfortunately with the defender trees um, there doesn't seem to be anything behind them that's been touched it's all in front of them um, and uh, probably enough distance in front of them that uh, future images shouldn't be affected which is nice um, the prepping <laughs> because of its location I don't think it's, it's in any danger of whatsoever um, yeah I think I'm going to see perhaps take a couple of images over that way um, they're not going to be anything spectacular. The lights, rubbish, full on grey sky. Um, sunrise this morning was quite nice, um, although I wasn't up for that. Um, I just missed it <laughs> because when I woke up, I thought it was it was just cloudy and horrible. It wasn't quite that bad. Um, but as I was coming over here, I thought I was going to get some misty conditions because I travelled through some mist and quite a big chunk of it. But nah, nah. Sorry. <laughs> These images are dim out in. Right, I'm going to stop chatting and go and investigate and see if I can build up the energy to go and look at the uh, my new area of woodland and see if that's been affected. Right. Let's go and have a look at the other section of woodland. A bit warm now, I'd take my coat off. <laughs> well, I've uh, 
made it to my uh, embracing trees. They seem okay. Um, unfortunately, their location again, there's a big mound here. Well, if I do it here, there's a big mound here that kind of protects them and separates a bit of woodland. However, I don't know if I'm going to be able to zoom in enough. And over here um, is one of a pair of trees that look like they're dueling and I can see there's damage to the tree from here. I can also see a line of logs where they've obviously cut stuff down. We'll head over there in a minute and have a look, see what the damage is. Which is a real shame. However, looking across the other side of this bit of trackway, there's a tree, <laughs> God, boy, don't there's a tree there that uh, has become more exposed, which might be promising in the future and then there's a couple further oh, my dear, further back over th this way so you have to point in the opposite direction to the way you want to point so yeah that way so god I'm misting up yeah so I had a, this bit of woodland would have been fine but it's not to be the case but we're gonna have a look So yeah, as I feared, uh, this is one of the trees I've obviously cut a bit off the, uh, what's it, do we point thing again, a bit off here, it's falling behind, it's also over here, where am I going, yeah, over here. The other one, the one with more character, in essence it's like ready to draw its gun type pose, is still generally intact, however, you can uh, see the branch up there has broken off and fallen down here. I don't know if that... I can't see that being because of anything come by, because there's no tracks. I'm just wondering if that's just nature taking its course. Um, I can't tell. It's possible. I'll have to check a picture, an older picture, because I'm pretty no, that I'm pretty sure that wasn't like that last time, so a few months ago. So yeah, I think that's uh, <laughs> just nature taking its course. Um, I don't know if you've seen in the news recently, but it was only yesterday or the day before for me. Um, that was it. Darwin's Arch. So the glass that had. Um, disappeared or the, the arch bit of it had just down to natural erosion. I don't know what they're gonna call it now. Still call it Darwin's arch is it gonna be Darwin's pillars I think I saw somebody call it. Um, annoyingly there's quite a few uh, news outlets basically saying it was destroyed as though uh, somebody had purposely gone along and uh, damaged the place. But, uh, I think it was a bit disingenuous and uh, just I think a sign of the the times with uh, today's media and how they like to spin things to create a certain narrative. Um, but yeah, nature at its best, eh? It gives and it takes. Um, just enjoy it, enjoy, enjoy, it, enjoy it while it's there. But, uh, yeah, I think with all the debris on the floor now, I just look at it. It's not very photographic, is it? Not even slightly. I think, well I think it's going to be a while before I come back here, nothing's going to change certainly for the next few months, um, which is a shame. I initially came out this morning because I thought there were bluebells that I could take advantage of around some of my regular trees, um, but no, yeah I think uh, this place isn't going to be visited for a while. I give it, obviously, give it a few months, come back and have a look in autumn, um, see how it's doing, give all this debris time to settle down. So I don't know if they're going to clear any of it, they're probably not. Um, so I give it time to settle down, although that could potentially take a few years. <laughs> oh, I'm going anyway. Um, yeah. yeah, come back in a few months, near autumn. 
or in autumn and uh, definitely check up on the last standing tree because um, that's certainly going to be Right, where was I before my camera decided to rudely to uh, stop functioning? Or more importantly, the battery stopped functioning because <laughs> it was dead. Uh, yes, yes. Um, I was saying I wasn't going to come back for a few months, maybe till autumn, and uh, yeah, come back and probably just have a look at the, the last standing tree, um, the one from earlier, because um, that should have some nice colour on it. Um, hopefully, I'll get to it before I did last year because it was autumn was over last time and those leaves although nice and orangey against the rest of the, the woodland scenery um, they were they were dead they were quite crispy um, so yeah if I time it right I'll get back and I'll get some more vibrant colours out of that and who knows I might find something else that uh, captures my interest but I think for now I'm gonna call it a day <laughs> certainly don't feel like staying here any longer <laughs> to be fair but yeah, call it a day. Um, so yeah, thank you for coming along on the ride today. Unfortunately, not much by way of photography. Um, just making a bit of a record of, of what's gone on. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Don't worry about liking in this one. Um, but yeah, please feel free to subscribe. Um, look after yourselves and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.